There's a lot of talk on the internet about what the best big game hunting cartridge is. Well, Dave and I have our top 10 list that you should consider if you've got some big game in your sights. Hello, friends and lovers. This is Dave Trillo, and you're listening to the Ammunition Guide podcast brought to you by none other than Ammo.com. Chris, today we're talking about the best cartridges to use for hunting big game. Now, we are considering whitetail and blacktail and muleys in that list, but uh, to me, big game kind of means elk so far as North Americans are concerned. Dave, I have to agree with you, and that is the lens that we are going to be looking at this top 10 list through and if you need any of these cartridges make sure you click that link down in the description in the pinned comment get your free coupon at ammo.com and while you're down there do us a favor click that like and subscribe button help us grow the channel so we can reach more shooters and help them pick the right ammo for what their intended purpose is but today we're going to be talking about big game all of the rounds we're going to talk about can be used for deer but we're really talking about stuff that's a little bit bigger so these cartridges are going to pack a little more power than your typical deer round. And we're going to start off with my personal favorite, the 300 Winchester Magnum. It's just kind of become come the gold standard. This one's most popular. It's going to give you the widest selection of ammo and uh, it's not even that expensive. It really is, Dave. And I think that's the appeal of the 300 Win Mag. If I had to pick one rifle that I'm going to say, okay, I need to do big game hunting and I can only pick one. The 300 Win Mag is going to be it. You can take even African game with this. Now, of course, we're not talking elephants or anything like that, but a lot of that medium to larger African game, the 300 Win Mag can get the job done. And, you know, it's also the choice of the Secret Service because it has such a flat trajectory. It's an incredibly flat shooting round that uh, really can get out there past 1,000 yards. But my number two pick is going to be none other than the classic 30-06 Springfield. Well, this is the, the World War I cartridge. It's as American as apple pie and bald oh, yeah. eagles. The only downside, I'd say, is its its length necessitates a long-action rifle. But the truth is, a 30-06 can take pretty much any game animal in North America at this point. It's taken down Grizzly. Maybe not the best choice, but it can do it. It's got the power to do so. And uh, you really can't go wrong with the 30-06. It really is the gold standard. Yeah, I sure tackled plenty of moose, so mm-hmm. you, you really can't. It's amazing that the standard rifle round for, for the World Wars was suitable for big game hunting. Of course, the 30 6 is a great big game cartridge, but it was eclipsed by another round, especially when it comes to military use, that has transitioned just as well into big game hunting, and that's the 308 Winchester. 308 win is one I typically advise over to 30 6 at least for mm-hmm. a first-time rifle owner. You're going to get a lot more options for ammo. You're going to get the option of buying military surplus 762 by 51. Its ballistics are so close to the 30 sixes that you'd kind of be hard-pressed to point out a glaring difference in them. The 308 really encompasses a lot of modern firearm technology into a smaller package, and it's a great option, like you said, for new shooters. It's not too oppressive to the shoulder. It's very easy to shoot, but it packs a punch and can really do a lot of work, probably up to about black bear level. All right, now this next one is going to be one that actually descended from the 30 6 and is basically just a 30 6 case that's been necked down, and that is the 270 Winchester. 270 win, uh, as we always point out, we have to we have to mention Jack oh, O'Connor yeah. mm-hmm. when we bring up the 270 win. Now that we've done that, we can say that this one's really popular for, for elk and moose. It, it just dominates larger games. It really does, and the 270 takes on the aspect of speed kills. The 270 really packs on the speed, and if you can put that bullet where it needs to go, you don't necessarily need a heavy-hitting cartridge to take down these big game animals. Yeah, that that long, thin, elegant, high ballistic coefficient, high sectional density bullet is just really equipped to fly flat and penetrate deeply. Now, you definitely want that flat trajectory for those longer range shots, and it can really carry its kinetic energy very well to make sure that you ethically put down these big game animals. Yeah. And if you can handle the not overwhelming recoil of a 270 win, it's it's great for somewhat inexperienced shooters because mm-hmm. it's, it's bullet drop. It's almost negligible out until two or 300 yards. Now let's move on to our next one that's a little bit more European, but definitely can take on a moose. And that's the 6.5 by 55 Swedish. Yeah, the 6.5 Swede. 
you know, the Scandinavians are renowned for their 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 performance at the biathlon. Mm -hmm. And uh, this 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 round, which is insanely accurate, has certainly contributed to their to their reputation for that. It's uh, it's capable of taking any any polar creature, so that means any North American creature as well. Uh, I'd say the main downside is this one, just by virtue of being European, never really became that popular in America. American shooters who have it love it to death. They love it dearly, but you're never going to uh, find huge supplies and great varieties of ammo if you sign up for this one. It was one of those rounds that has been around for about as long as the 30-06 and really did not get the attention that it deserved in North America because of our general uh, aversion to 6.5 millimeter cartridges. I intentionally left the Creed more off of this list because I really don't feel that it's powerful enough for Moose. I'm sure that I'll be flamed in the comments for that, but don't worry, I've got my flame suit ready to go. But the Swede, the 6.5 Swede, has been taking Moose for a long, long time. And they really made an amazing cartridge, and if you can get your hands on it, there are a decent amount of rifles available for it even today. But one that is going to be definitely a little bit newer cartridge that's starting to get a little bit of traction is the 6.8 Western. 6.8 Western, another one you're going to have a little difficulty finding ammo for, but mm -hmm. uh, boy, this just takes everything that Winchester knew about ammo and puts it into one incredible long distance package. They were really going for the long distance hunting aspect with the 6.8 Western. And the 6.8 Western is a great little cartridge. The only problem you're gonna have is finding ammo for it because pretty much only Winchester and Browning make it right now. Now, another one that you shouldn't have any problem finding ammo for and is incredibly popular with big game hunters is the seven millimeter Remington Magnum. Still incredibly popular, easy to find ammo for, and the 7mm Rem Mag can really put down big game if that's what you're wanting to shoot. And like 300 Win Mag, this one's an all-rounder. It's great mm -hmm. for, for hunting medium game as well. Rules yep. at hog, uh, awesome for whitetail. <clears throat> and uh, I've seen plenty of guys hunt varmints with it as well. It's certainly accurate enough. Now, this next one on our list is a bit of a speed demon, and some people might not have considered this because of ammo availability, but if you feel the need for speed, you've got to check out the 28 Nosler. This one's really going to give you a headache if you if you go into the big box store looking for 28 Nos. Dave, you're absolutely right, because the only people that currently make 28 Nosler that I'm aware of is Nosler themselves. But if you want something that is absolute flat shooting, thing that hits harder than a 300 wind mag at 800 yards, uh, the 28 Nosler is what you need. Chris, I understand that the 28 Nosler is uh, just an absolute bear on barrel life. Burns hot, burns out that rifling quick. Yeah, that is the only downside to the cartridge. Now, there's, of course, a lot of subjectivity to when it comes to barrel life. What exactly is a burnt out barrel? Yeah, it is a bit of a barrel burner, and you're probably looking at about a thousand rounds for peak accuracy. That being said, if you're a big game hunter, it's going to take you a long time to get through that thousand rounds. Truly. It's going to, it's going to cost you a lot to get through a thousand rounds, too. It will. It's not a cheap round to shoot, and uh, this next one that we're going to talk about isn't exactly cheap either. Now, this, we're getting into some of the big boy rounds. We're going to talk about the 338 Winchester Magnum. Winchester developed the 338 for specifically big game hunting elk and moose. I don't think that we can you know, really talk about big game hunting cartridges without discussing the 338. Now, it is a, definitely more powerful than 300 Win Mag, but you're going to have a little bit harder time finding ammo for it. But if you have one and you're looking for those long range shots on big game, the 338 Win Mag is a great option without having to step up to a military round like a 338 Lapua. Now, this next one and our last one on our top 10 list is going to be a little bit controversial, but is one of the oldest rounds on the list here, and that is the 4570 government. The 4570 government almost went completely extinct uh, yep. in the middle of last century, but it's, it's had a, a great resurgence. This is a the classic Plains hunting cartridge. It was a military cartridge, of course. Its full name is 4570 government, a little nod to its origin. And uh, boy, Chris, this one launches a big bullet. Yeah, if you want a big, thick, heavy bullet that hits hard, you cannot beat a 4570, especially with some of the modern loads for 4570. They refer to these as, if I'm not mistaken, volcanic loads. And uh, these things just go screaming out of the barrel. Now, 
make sure that you're not using a trapdoor Springfield on one of these newer modern loads because it's going to be a bad day for you because the 4570 was originally a black powder cartridge. Yeah, if you're expecting 28 nozzler trajectory out of a 4570, you've got another thing coming. However, with enough practice, this thing can give you pinpoint accuracy at pretty, you know, medium ranges. I'm not going to put this one in the long range hunting car category, but uh, if you live in the Midwest like I do, a great option for hunting, you know, elk or deer at, you know, relatively medium ranges. This one is actually pretty popular nowadays. Mm -hmm. I think short of 308 and 30-06, you're, you're going to find a pretty generous selection of 4570 on the market. Famously easy to reload. I know oh, a lot yeah. of guys don't even do it at a reloading table. They just do it out in the woods. It's that easy. And um, you get the option of uh, carrying a revolver chambered for 4570 as well. It's going to be a big revolver. Oh, yeah. But Chris knows I love uh, revolvers that, you know, rifles and revolvers that share the same ammo. It's just neat. You can shoot low recoil rounds that are really easy on the hands or easy on the shoulders, or you can shoot the real heavy, you know, modern smokeless powder varieties that really slap and put down a lot of kinetic energy on the target and you get the nostalgia of carrying a lever action rifle into the woods which is just amazing so dave let's wrap it all up here we've got a lot of great options on this list obviously our top three being the 30 caliber options because well america uh yeah. but uh yeah the 300 wind mag is hard to beat if you want an all-arounder um i think 308 win i'd rather go with that just because i can afford enough ammo to be proficient at at firing it as opposed to uh you always say here here the dollar signs whenever i pull the trigger <laughs> yeah here the cash register to ching when you pull the trigger instead of the yeah. report of the rifle right yeah i don't like hearing that noise so i'd rather That's just fair. fire just tens of thousands of 308 wind rounds until i become a sharpshooter with it and then then go for my elk as opposed to uh you know buying a 338 wind mag and and wondering where the heck the ammo is Fair enough. Fair enough. Now let us know down in the comments, what's your favorite big game hunting cartridge? What did we miss off of our top 10 list and what would you include instead? And while you're down there, as always, make sure you click that link in the description, get your coupon, leave us a like, drop us a subscribe, and we'll see you out on the range.